Okay, so good morning or good afternoon or good evening to everyone who's watching this short video. This is going to take us through how to drop data using our new management information system, which is Bromcom. So we're going to start as we do when we get onto Bromcom to take our registers and we will log in with our Google accounts. Once we've done that, we will come to the home page. And what you need to do here is you need to go to overview. So right now it's zeroing in on the lessons that you have. You want to go to overview. Once you've clicked on overview, you should get a reminder telling you that the data drop is actually due and it will tell you how many days are left. So that's quite useful when it comes to making sure that we, uh, we meet the deadlines. So you can hit OK on that and move the warning out of the way. And then I'm going to draw your attention to the side over here where we've got the assessment sheets for our groups. Now, thus far, we've got year 12 and year 10 both available because it's the formative assessment data drop for key stage four and key stage five. We don't need to do year 11, obviously, and we don't need to do year 13 as well because they're currently sitting their exam. So we don't have any meaningful data on them just yet. What I'm going to ask you to do first is to just go over here and click on more. So once you've gone to more, you will get your data drop sheets. This is a very useful tip here. If you click on include completed percentage column, over here on the right hand side, it tells you how much of that data drop sheet has been completed. So you can actually monitor your own completion rates. So it might be that you've got up to 50% um, and you're still waiting to mark a few more and you'll do the 50% later on. So before the deadline, you can look over here and see, have I completed my entire mark sheet for the assessments that are due? To take the actual data drop sheet, it's very, very easy. All you need to do is click on the sheet and it will pop up in a separate screen. And just as we do normally, just enter in the grades one to four um, for their BECH, which is behavior, effort, classwork, and homework. And then the last assessment grade, do that according to whichever level they're working at. So this is GCSE. So we're gonna say that this pupil over here in their last assessment, which was a formative assessment, they're currently working at a level six, six because it's combined science. So we'll put six and six in, seven, six, eight, seven, and so on and so forth. Once we've done that, we turn our attention to the performance indicator column. For new staff, just so that you know, the performance indicator is your best bet your very best bet on how that pupil will perform based on all of the knowledge you have and all of the information and all of the evidence you have available to you what grade are they going to achieve in their very final exams for that key stage? Okay, so what score are they going to get? And this child, we can presume that they're going to get grade 7-7. Seven, seven. So we'll go with that. And then we've got the behavior, effort, classwork, homework. And then we're just going to put in a 2, which is good. Uh, a 2 for effort, which is decent. Classwork, we're going to go 2. And homework, we're going to go 3 because they missed a piece. Now, just to pique your interest for a potential move later on, which I'm not going to confirm just yet, we might start to bring these columns together. We might start to report on behavior and effort as one and classwork and homework as one also. But that's something further down the line to look forward to. Something to take note of over here is the user defined flags. We've created some flags for people so you can see which groups they belong to. This child here is EAL, that's the E, the green E. Uh, we've got P for pupil premium, you guessed it, and F is free school meals. We've got um, a gold M over there, so that child is more able, and so on and so forth. So you can look at those. Some will have SEND, um, there'll be SEND with an EHCP, there'll be uh, SEND monitoring, um, and all of the user-defined flags that have been created are going to appear in this column. The class attendance is pretty good. I'm glad that's there because we no longer need to have for sick form an attendance column because it tells you as a percentage what that student's attendance is. The target grades, they're going to appear later. They're blank now, um, but they will start to appear because these have got to be inserted manually. They didn't come across in the, uh, in the when we did the, the handover from Sims to Bromcom, but they will appear over time. So that's how to fill in your data drop sheet. You'll know that we've color coded them. Thank you, Mr. Fenton, for doing that. Uh, these correlate to the color codes that we've got in the reporting to parents booklet. So we can take a look at the class very, very quickly and we can see um, how those people are doing using the color codes as well. Once we've got some way through this data drop sheet, what we'll do is we'll go save or save and close. And we close that down and we should be able to refresh things and see the percentage has updated. So let's include percentage column. 
and we can see that 5% of that data drop sheet is now complete. So we need to do 95% more and get that finished in time for the data drop. So I hope that helps. Just a very quick tutorial. It's quite simple. You probably could have worked it out alone, but this should have given you a few pointers on how to, to do this and how to monitor the completion rates as well. Later on, I'll explain to heads of department how they can monitor their department completion rates because we, uh, we need to make sure that we get our data in on time. Thanks so much. God bless you all and enjoy your week.